This video will show you advanced search tips that you can use to search the databases in the virtual library more effectively. First, I will introduce you to different tools for combining your search terms. The Boolean operators are the primary way to combine your search terms and are available in pretty much every bibliographic database. The operators are AND, OR, and NOT. AND combines search terms and retrieves results which contain all of the terms. Use AND to combine different concepts for example, adolescence and smoking will retrieve results on adolescent smoking. Or combines your search terms and retrieves results which contain any of the terms. Use this to combine synonyms expressing the same concept. For example, the idea of adolescence can be expressed with other terms like teenagers and youth. So you OR these terms together to make sure you retrieve everything on this topic. NOT excludes results containing the second term. For example, Tylenol, NOT Advil, will retrieve everything with Tylenol that does not also have Advil. Use NOT very rarely and with extreme caution because you cannot know how terms will be used and you might exclude something useful. Parentheses are used to control the order in which terms are searched. Terms within parentheses are searched first. If you do not use parentheses, the AND operator is searched first. For example, if you search without parentheses the terms HEALTH AND FAIR or CARNIVAL or RODEO you will retrieve results containing both the words health and fair, as well as results about carnivals in general and rodeos in general. If you put parentheses around the terms fair, carnival, and rodeo, the database will retrieve all the results with those terms, then AND them with health, so your results will contain either the words health fair, or health carnival, or health rodeo. Proximity operators are used to combine terms to express a single concept that contains multiple words and can be expressed in different ways. They control how close words are to each other, the idea being that words which are close to each other are more likely to be expressing a single idea. For example, the idea of breast cancer can also be expressed as cancer in the breast. To search for this, there are two proximity operators. Near is expressed with N and the maximum number of words separating the two terms, and will search for the terms in any order. So breast N3 cancer will retrieve breast cancer as well as cancer in the breast. Within is expressed with a W, and does the same as near, but searches for the terms in the order in which they are written. So child within three center will retrieve child care center, but not center of child care. Quotation marks are the final tool for combining terms. Place quotation marks around exact phrases to ensure the phrase is searched for intact. For example, the phrase public health nurse is a single concept. If quotation marks are not used, each individual word will be searched for separately and an implied AND is used, so all three words will be found, but not necessarily together. This second section will now go through some search tools and tips for using your search terms more efficiently. The first and probably most heavily used tool is the truncation mark. Place a truncation mark after the root of a word to find all words with that root. This is useful for ensuring you don't miss any forms of a word and to save you the time of typing out all forms. In the databases within the virtual library, the truncation mark is the asterisk. An example is, if you place a truncation mark after teen, you will retrieve all forms of the word including teens, teenager, and teenagers. Be careful what root you use, however. For example, if you want to find policy and policies, you might put a truncation mark after P-O-L-I-C, but this will also retrieve police. Other useful tools are wildcards. These are placeholders for letters and can either replace a letter or hold a place for the possibility of an additional letter. In the virtual library databases, one wildcard is the question mark, which replaces an unknown letter. For example, immunize can be spelled with either an S or a Z. Place a question mark where those letters are will retrieve both spellings. The other wildcard is the pound sign, which holds the place for a possible additional letter. Both the words with and without the additional letter are found. This is particularly useful for finding both American and British spellings. For example, behavior can be spelled with or without a U. Putting a pound sign where the U would go will retrieve both spellings. The final and possibly most powerful tool is controlled vocabulary. Not every database has this. Controlled vocabulary is a list of set terms, one term per concept. Trained indexers review each article and will assign controlled terms to express what the article is about. The purpose of this is to group articles on the same topic under the same controlled term and avoid the problem of synonyms. Different authors can express the same concept in many different ways. For example, type 1 diabetes can be expressed as diabetes type 1, insulin-dependent diabetes, or sudden-onset diabetes mellitus. There is only one controlled term in Medline, and it is diabetes mellitus type 1. 
If you search with that control term, you will retrieve all articles indexed on type 1 diabetes, regardless of what words the author used. More resources are available to assist you with using these tips and tools. The library has a page on literature searching, and EBSCO has an excellent help file. It is located in the upper right hand of the virtual library and all of the databases.